Pencil Pow. Why, hello there, art adventurers. In this video, I wanted to talk about some stuff about the drawing the structure of the face, and we'll do front and side view as well as three quarter. That's actually where I'm going to start. And this is actually like a mix of all the different methods and uh, tricks and tips that I've kind of compiled, including a few things I've come up with on my own that have really worked best for me when understanding and drawing the structure of the face and the head and the neck as well. We're going to be talking about all of those. I wanted to start off with this because one of the main things that um, I want to point out just right before we start even is having to do with the neck because you can't really see it from front view. You will see it from three quarter view. That's why I'm talking about it. But you'll see that there is this um, tube shape that goes like this for the neck. And it's not straight up and down. And um, so this, this kind of lean is just something I wanted to point out to keep in mind. Aside from that, we'll take it very step by step and just start drawing. Let's just do it. So like I said, I'm going to start with three quarter view because I think that that is the best way to get an idea of what's going on from, you know, as a general, um, as a general thing. And um, so I'm not going to go too much into uh, details on certain things that I've done videos on in the past. So you can check out my other videos for that. But to start off with, create, you know, draw a circle maybe a little bit wider than it is tall. Okay. And then drop this line down from there. And then do one of these lines that like shows the whole, the, um, this circle as a sphere. And you'll have to decide if you emphasize this line, the head is looking slightly up. If you emphasize this line, the head is looking slightly down. So let's actually, let's work with this down one. It's a little bit simpler. And then what you're going to do is find wherever you want the chin. You can adjust it later. That would be a little bit too far. This might be a little bit too close, right? So somewhere in between those two areas. And um, it's going to follow the same curve as this line up here. So this one is just a very slight curve. I'm going to put that a little lower, actually. And so one of the tricks is if you're doing different heads, like if it's looking up, then the chin will follow that curve looking up, and it'll be closer to the ball. If it's looking down quite a bit, then the chin will follow that looking down um, angle. So this is reflective of that center line, which is going to be around the brow area. So I'm not going to go into looking up and down. I feel like that deserves a video of its own at some point. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because it's a really helpful tip, I thought. Next, we're going to cut out two, um, two balls over here. This one you can't really see on this side, but it will slightly cut the ball off there, you know, cut the side. But that side you don't have to worry about as much. This one's more important. And then let's subdivide this to kind of get an idea, now we've kind of got this, you know, three-dimensional plane going on. It's more like that. So we're kind of like, see how this goes slightly up to show that, like, it's kind of got a boxier shape, um, as opposed to going straight down like this. And when you kind of, when you cut this piece out, you can kind of tell how to subdivide it into quarters and that'll give you the right angle. So then just drop this down a little bit and then connect it over. And then you're gonna kind of look and say like, all right, we've got the same curve as up here, right? And the curve down here. Following that same slight curve, we're gonna be able to find where the jaw change angles. And you can get just a slight angle change there and now you've kind of gotten the, the shape of the head in. Next thing is we're going to talk about, like I said, that, um, that what's it called? How the neck is curved, right? So I kind of mentioned how it curves down like this, actually even more so, like more like that. And so there's like a connection here, and then it goes back a little bit, right? And it's also at quite an angle, it's probably more like that. So I'm gonna erase that so that we don't have too many lines inside and you're kinda of gonna imagine where it comes in here, bringing it down, 
and having it go like that. And you can almost also get like a little bit of a triangular feel there. Um, but keeping it round is works too, because then what we're going to do is create a little triangle cut out that's kind of like that. It's going right to the front of it, so actually move that over a tiny bit. So to show you that over here, I guess it's hard to see from that view, but let's say we're doing it like this. We cut that in half somewhere there, and we connect both the points to the front there. And it's going to give you the basic idea of where this um, sternocleidomastoid muscle comes in. I actually probably make this a little longer, but you'll get like the proportions down as you practice this more. I'm not going to worry about it too much at this point. Um, but yeah, I don't want to go too far into like different little muscles and stuff, so I'm going to keep it simple just like that. And finally, we're going to have the two collarbones coming out from this point here. And then the trapezius muscles connecting from the top of this circle in the back and connecting down there. So this is going to give you that basic neck happening here. All right, let's put down some, um, some details of the face. So this is going to be roughly the eyebrow line. Um, and so right around there, you're going to want to put in the nose. And I've actually done a whole video on the nose, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But I like to use this shape to start with. So actually, even before putting that brow line in, I can put this shape right around here, right around the bottom of the circle somewhere. Again, you'll find your, your exact proportions, and each face is different. There's this kind of uh, um, diamond shape. It's skewing a little bit to the right, because that's how he's looking. And we're going to connect that, and right around that brow line, have it coming out like that. And this is really, I think, I like to start there, um, go into the eyes last because that's I think, the most complicated. But from here, I like to also have uh, a chin. So the chin has coming out a little bit. I use this upside down U shape and I kind of like give it a little bit of extra form. See in like the 3D when I'm doing the structure by just pushing that back there. You're going to put the ears right around here. All right, and then this is going to go over the ears. Move the ears a little bit. So from the corner of the chin to above the ears, you make a line there, and that'll give you this, um, like where the plane of the face changes. It's a really helpful little one, I think. A lot of these little things they add up, and they're very helpful when you put them all together. Next, I like to connect to do two lines here to kind of give an idea of how the mouth is like shaping up with the chin. Make sure there's enough space from the nose to where the mouth line is, then just put another line right underneath. And you can kind of connect that there because this is usually an indentation and then the, the chin comes out. So and that can be a helpful little structural mark as well. Finally here, one of the things I love about, one of the things I like to do most of here, or one of the most helpful things, is to get the eye set back. So going to where you see how thick the nose, the bridge of the nose is going to be, then draw a shape like this. So it's like this, like this, and I'm actually going to show you by itself. Can you see how that's creating a setting for the eye? So it's really putting the eye back in the head, setting it into that eye socket. So here, you know, you got something like that. And then the top goes, actually it would probably be easier to put a line going out from that edge, connect it over, connect it under with some rounded, rounded lines. And this is really setting the eye back. And then from here you can kind of imagine that the eye over here is going to be set pretty far back and so you'll be a lot of it will be covered up by the nose from this angle and then again I like to do 
two things coming out like this and that, which you'll see more from the front view. That's probably a little bit extreme to illustrate the point, but we'll just keep it like that. Okay, and then this part gets erased out. All right. We've already connected it in here. This is so you've got the cheekbone. And then because we cut out a little bit over here, remember, from the side that you can barely see over there, that is going to be like this brow, at least with the male, is often protruding a little bit, like the brow ridge comes out just a little bit and connects into there. And so that's basically it. Now you've gotten, this is, gives us the structure of the head from three quarters view. Another thing you can do is to get the structure of the nose a little bit more like that and also realize that the, the brow ridge might go over this eye socket area a little bit might hang over you know but this is still going into the construction so I'm not going to get too much into details of anything um, past what we're what we're looking at here so let's go ahead and do the head from front and side view quickly to get a to get the vibe for that and I'll leave this guy over here. So from profile view is the easiest one, I think. Making the head much longer than it is tall here. The more you turn it sideways, the more the width of the head is going to be emphasized. Dropping a line down that's angling slightly in, right? So it's like slightly in, not straight down. And then right around the middle here, or actually we can cut out, you know, do our cutout section. We're talking about that over there here. And on the behind it, behind the middle here, right about in the middle of this width is going to be the ear. You drop the jaw down a little bit and then connect down to the chin. And then remember we have the the tube is at an angle like this but we can give a little bit of a curve a little more naturalistic feel from right behind the ear comes the one side of the sternocleidomastoid and then right towards the end of the head there's another and there's a nice space between the ear and the back of the head that's something i always used to miss so i just wanted to mention that and then this collarbone would be coming like straight out towards you and um, so we can just finish it off like like that for now. We'll just leave it like that. And there's also the bottom of the chin coming out, maybe straight. And then when it hits that, uh, the tube of the neck that we put in there, it goes and connects back up to, to the jaw. So that will give us the basic head layout, right? And so next will be... Um, putting in, I think the nose is the best thing to put in next here. So right around the bottom of this uh, elliptical circle thing, we can put our diamond shape, same one from before basically, and then connecting it up to about the brow and giving it that little indent and then actually probably coming in a little bit before connecting to the head. I'll give you the uh, the nose and then we want to again set the eyes back so right around where that brow goes maybe slightly below but just about right there or it can be right in the middle like that we're going to put the eye we're gonna set it back using the same kind of structural thing that I mentioned before so so actually kind of like imagining this sort of a shape and then putting the eye in and then having the same, you know, extending it out farther from the back and then connecting those points. Okay, so that's going to give you a decent, decent uh, feel for that. This actually could go a little further down until so you've really got the eye set in there inside an eye socket. Um, next you can have the mouth 
you can do, oh, let's do the chin first. So the chin might come out just a U shape again, but you're seeing it more from the side view, so it might just be a little bit of something sticking out like that, depending on how the chin looks on this person. But you could just use a little U, and then connecting these two up so that you can find where you want the mouth, and that's gonna protrude past the, um, what's it called? Past this line that you've created for the face. And there is like a whole, hmm, how do I explain this part? Actually, I think the easiest way is to do it. So have this sticking out the upper lip and then have it go straight back and there is a bit of a, a, a lip change here like that like a subtle one but even if you want to simplify it by just going here and straight back at a slightly downward angle and then you got the bottom lip a little V like a mountain and then connecting it in something like that that'll give you where the lips will go and there is a slight, like, well, you already get that indent from this angle, so you don't really need to worry about that. But, like, you know, usually there's a shadow underneath there from front view. Cool. And then, again, we have this line that goes from the top of the ear to the corner of the chin. Or even to just the point here at the bottom of the nose. It's curving slightly. That's going to give you the cheeks. So, really, you've got you know, your side view head laid out. You could have this nose thing again connecting right in there to this this line right here. So you've got the eye like that, right? And then connecting into this line somewhere. You've got this which connects to the nose if you want to get a little more um, idea of like how the nose is fitting in there. Okay, cool. So let's do the one from front view, which I think is actually the trickiest because you can't see what's going on as easily as you can from the other views, but it's not too bad. So, so from the front, we're going to keep it a perfect circle. It's the same width as it is tall, pretty much. And then you drop the plumb line right from the middle, but you are cutting off a bit of the edges, right? That's these circles over here that we cut out. And then coming down from there, drop the jaw a little bit, drop the jaw a little bit, and we're going to taper them in. So this is tapering in a little bit, tapering in towards the middle line. And then where we put the chin, let's go ahead and actually put the chin with the little U. Um, or what is this little, I don't know what that shape would be called, but that shape. Okay, and then come down. You know, you'll figure out where to put it, but this is where it's also tricky because you can't really see as much um, the angle. You know, this looks like it's coming straight up and down, but you want to try to emphasize by putting, by drawing it as a tube like that, that it is moving away from you. I don't want this to get too, too messy in here, so I'm going to erase that out. And then you've got the two lines that come in here. From the top of that, you've got the trapezius and the collarbones from the bottom. All right, this is keeping it very basic. I would actually have the head, the neck tilted more forward. And actually, I'm going to make it thicker so it doesn't quite look thick. Enough. Well, it could work for a female figure. That would be about a good um, width for the neck. But I want to make it a little thicker here. And also emphasize that it's how much it's coming forward, like this, by doing quite a decent circle there. And I think the nice rule of thumb is the top of the circle comes close to the to the head to the chin. And this is coming up there. That's feeling a little more solid for me. With the two collar bones coming from the bottom center, coming straight out. These ones connecting to that top of the circle up here. 
and then connect them together. All right, cool. Then we've got the ears, um, where we can add them after, but actually, no, let's add them now because then once we put the ears in, right about where, you know, that, uh, that, that part we cut out is, maybe hanging a little bit lower, and right about to the middle, we can put in these cheek lines, which I think are some of the more, most helpful line in like finding the overall head shape and structure, especially from the front view. Cool, now that we've got that, the top one we can subdivide, so you see this circle we've created in the beginning is subdivided into quarters. So from here, we can go ahead and put the nose somewhere around above this, this the bottom of this line. And that's going to be our diamond shape. And then bring it up, tapering to right about that brow, that line in the middle, which will be the brow ridge. Cool. And then we'll add the eyes last since that's what we've been doing, but you can do these in all sorts of orders and it's fun to mess around with the order and see what you prefer and to learn, kind of find out how far down you want to go, like around, you know, where the top of the lip will be. You can add that line and create, I drew, I have a method for drawing the face really simply, which focuses on this nose and these lines that I'm making. There's another video you can check out on the channel. And then there's the bottom lip, and I like to also connect the two so I know that this is like an area that's dipping back and is, you know, kind of moving back in space. It's over here, and where then the chin comes out again after that. Now for the, the brows, you can create two, this is a trick that I actually really like for setting the eyes in, so creating two very subtle rainbow shapes, or they can be different for the different people, for different people will have different like looks there. Um, and then dropping these down like this, so they're tapering in, and then that's going to give you where the top of the eye is going to be in the bottom of the eye. I've noticed you can actually do it two ways. So when you do that, you can either have the top of the eye coming up like that. So they're like, a, it's. I think the triangle is an easiest shape. And you can, or you can have it where the triangle is upside down. And both ways seem to work. And you, you know, just create different faces. But this is one of the best ways for me to match up the eyes because I tend to have difficulty getting the eyes to look like they're matching, you know, to get the left eye looking like the right eye. Um, so this seems to be a helpful way to construct them so that they're roughly in the same position and shape, etc. And then if you just extend out a little bit, two lines extending out from the eyes horizontally, and create like a U shape there. That'll kind of give you the whole feeling of the eyes set back in the head and also show you, see we got like where the cheekbones are going to be um, and where another, again, it's another plane shift on the face. And that's pretty much it. Here and the last thing I'll do is to connect somewhere in a little bit there, not quite at the corner, to create two lines to the where, you know, this corner um, where this angle changes and that's going to give you, I think I've actually made the, the top of the head a little too small, but again, these things will come in time with like, as you work on your proportions and stuff. Um, but yeah, and again, like this, I might taper the chin in a little bit and stuff like that, but this basic construction seems to really help me and has seemed to be a good way to, uh, to draw the head. One thing I also wanted to mention is that the, I actually like to have the neck taper in. So that's something that also, like when something's moving further away in space, right, it tapers in. So it's slightly moving away, so it's going to taper in more than it would taper out. So that's another little tip that seems to help. But um, 
but yeah, I think that this has basically been like my best tips thus far for understanding and drawing the construction of the face from both three quarter profile and front view. And I hope it was helpful and that it has imbued you with just a little bit more. Pencil, Pencil. Pow. 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 All right.